Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareOutline.com where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control and so that you can influence decision making fast even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered and in last week's episode I answered another question from one of our readers and the question last week was my husband hasn't been waking up for the last two weeks after open heart surgery and he remains in an induced coma in intensive care is this normal you can check out the answer to last week's question by clicking on the link below this video in this week's episode of your questions answered I want to answer another question from one of our readers and the question this week is can you go home on CPAP or BiPAP ventilation so hello and welcome to another episode of your questions answered from intensive care hotline so this is an another frequently asked question that we get here quite often at intensivecarehotline.com so let's look into that in more detail so mechanical ventilation in hospitals is on the rise especially with people living longer and people wanting to have more choice so therefore a lot of people ask can you go home on CPAP or BiPAP ventilation so overall more and more people are requiring mechanical ventilation in intensive care and also outside of intensive care and with more and more people getting educated about their health as well as getting educated about their choices when requiring intensive care services it's a very good question to ask let's firstly look at a few ventilation modes so that we are crystal clear about the terminologies we use and what the terminologies really mean so let's distinguish some of them and then I'll explain them in detail first distinguishing terminology is CPAP BiPAP ventilation with a face mask second one that we're going to look at is CPAP BiPAP ventilation with a breathing tube or an endotracheal tube and the third one is CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with a tracheostomy so they are the different forms of CPAP and BiPAP ventilation modes and I will clarify in a moment what it all means and how it impacts on the possibility to go home with one of those ventilation modes let's just very quickly explain CPAP and BiPAP ventilation CPAP stands for continuous positive airway pressure it basically means that a certain level of positive airway pressure is constantly being delivered BiPAP stands for bi-level inspiratory positive airway pressure BiPAP basically operates on two different positive airway pressures and it tends to make breathing easier compared to CPAP as it offers two different levels of positive airway pressure one higher and one lower positive airway pressure a lot of patients say that BiPAP is much more comfortable than CPAP we also have a site on our website just for BiPAP altogether you can check that out if you type into our search box BiPAP so let's look at those other ventilation modes in more details so CPAP BiPAP ventilation with a face mask this mode of ventilation is often being in a home care setting used for sleep apnea many people are requiring CPAP or BiPAP ventilation at home overnight for sleep apnea and they can self-manage as usually they are otherwise healthy most of the time however the number of patients in intensive care requiring CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with a face mask is also increasing another term for CPAP or BiPAP ventilation in intensive care is NIV which stands for non-invasive ventilation invasive ventilation on the other hand is mechanical ventilation with a breathing tube or an endotracheal tube or via tracheostomy and I will talk more about that in a minute CPAP and BiPAP ventilation with a face mask or NIV 
is either used to prevent invasive mechanical ventilation with a breathing tube and a tracheal tube or with a tracheostomy and it's also often being used after mechanical ventilation with a breathing tube or endotracheal tube or tracheostomy when intermittent ventilation support is still needed on your critically ill loved one's way to recovery. Therefore either scenarios are possible in an intensive care setting. In the ideal world CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with a face mask or NIV ventilation is being used temporarily and after the lungs have regained their normal or physiological functionality your critically ill loved one will be able to leave intensive care and go to a hospital ward. In some instances however permanent or intermittent CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with a mask is required and a weaning is often impossible. In order to not stay in intensive care indefinitely it's a very good question to ask can you go home on CPAP or BiPAP ventilation? The answer is a clear yes, therefore let's check out how this can become a reality. If you or your critically ill loved one is thinking about going home on CPAP or BiPAP mask ventilation, also called NIV or non-invasive ventilation, it often goes hand in hand with requiring oxygen therapy as well during the times when you or your family member are off CPAP or BiPAP mask ventilation or NIV. So therefore oxygen is often also required whilst being on BiPAP or CPAP. What normally needs to happen at on home CPAP and BiPAP ventilation with a face mask or NIV is that specialized services like intensive care at home can help you and your family with making a transition from intensive care to a home care environment. And by the way, intensive care at home is the first fully accredited intensive home care service. I have put some links to intensive care at home website and what they can do at home for CPAP and BiPAP ventilation. So scroll down from this video and look up in the written version of this blog the links to intensive care at home. Let's look at the next ventilation mode which is CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with a breathing tube or an endotracheal tube. This ventilation mode is often only being used for critically ill patients who are coming out of an induced coma and are being weaned off the ventilator. CPAP or BiPAP ventilation mode with a breathing tube or endotracheal tube is usually the ventilation mode just before your critically ill loved one can be taken off the ventilator and the breathing tube or endotracheal tube. Therefore, CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with a breathing tube or endotracheal tube is not a ventilation mode that can be used at home as it's only a short-term ventilation mode. If your critically ill loved one can't be taken off the ventilator and the breathing tube or endotracheal tube with CPAP or BiPAP, they will most likely need a tracheostomy. Therefore, let's look at CPAP and BiPAP ventilation with tracheostomy. If CPAP or BiPAP ventilation with the breathing tube or endotracheal tube is not getting your critically ill loved one off the ventilator, there is a very good chance that your critically ill loved one may need a tracheostomy. If that's the case, tracheostomy ventilation with CPAP or BiPAP is actually a desired ventilation mode because it's usually the ventilation mode that's tolerated best by patients with tracheostomies and mechanical ventilation needs. A tracheostomy and CPAP BiPAP ventilation often goes hand in hand with a long-term stay in intensive care. A long-term stay in intensive care is very taxing, burdensome, depressing, expensive and risky for critically ill patients and their families. On top of that patients and their families in intensive care have no quality of life and in some instances no quality of end of life. Intensive care units are also often under enormous pressure to empty their beds with long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies because of the five to six thousand dollars per bed day price tag attached to it. It therefore makes sense to look for viable alternatives 
which is where again intensive care at home can help you and your family. Intensive care at home, again the first accredited intensive home care service can make a seamless transition from intensive care to home possible for your critically ill loved one and your family. It's a win-win situation. Your critically ill loved one and your family can improve their quality of life by being looked after at home by specialized intensive care nursing staff and it's way more cost effective. Check out how intensive home care works for CPAP and BiPAP ventilation at home with tracheostomy. Again, I put a link to Intensive Care at Home's website below in, this, in the written version of this blog. So, I hope this really clarifies this question, whether you can go home or CPAP or BiPAP ventilation or not, because you certainly can. If you have any other questions regarding this topic, send an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. So, how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one, make informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly? Whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care, you get to that all-important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report you learn quickly how to make informed decisions, get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report you learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You'll get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You'll get crucial behind the scenes inside so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I'll see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions or you can call me find international phone numbers on our contacts tab. Also check out our ebook section where you get more ebooks, videos and audio recordings and where you can also get one-on-one -on -one counseling and consulting with me via Skype over the phone or via email by clicking on the products tab. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.